Welcome back, race fans, to the Hot Wheels Head to Head Racing Channel. My name is Mike, and you are looking at the 2023 fastest Hot Wheels so far. Three cars from the F Case race. They moved into the top 10. Two of them right there at number six and seven the Roadster Bite and the Dimichini Velace. Now, the surprise from the FK race, it sits at number two, the Dodge Viper RT10 right there. They knocked off the top seed in the tourney. Still holding the top spot at number one, the Bentley Continental GT3 from the BK race. That was early in the season. That is your current fastest Hot Wheels so far. There sits your top three, the Bentley Continental, the Dodge Viper, and at number three, the Dodge Charger Drift Car from the CK race. All right, Hot Wheels released the G-Case, and we have got the race for you. Eight cars qualified for the first round, Excel 8. Each match will be two runs down the drag strip. They're going to swap lanes. Fastest time, we'll move on. Get ready for the G-Case race. It's match one in what should be another great tournament. The Mustang Funny Car versus a Hot Wheels Fantasy Car that was introduced as part of the HW 50th Race Team Mini Collection. It's Rising Climb starting lane two. Funny Car in lane one. They are already across the line. Rising Climb pulling away from the Mustang Funny Car. They put down a 1.611 on the first run. It is now the time to beat. They switch up the lanes. Rising Climb will move inside lane one. The Funny Car looking for some speed. They're outside lane two for the second run. Rising Climb, way out front, back-to-back -back wins, 1.594. They found some extra speed on the second run, and they're moving on to round two in the fast four. Match two, round one, it should be an interesting battle. The Mazda Repu's 32 grams versus the 64 Nova Wagon Gasser. They're a little heavier at 37 grams, they'll start lane one. The Mazda, they're all set lane two for the first of two runs. It's the 64 Nova Gasser Wagon. They gained steam down the straight. It was a good first run. 1.609 is the time to beat as they switch up the lanes. Mazda gets a turn inside lane one. The Nova Gasser Wagon, they're going to move outside lane two for run number two. Mazda, early lead off the start, but they lose at the finish. 1.613 for the Nova Wagon Gasser. They are car number two to make the final four in the G-Case race. We are halfway through the Excel 8 round one. Match three is up. The Porsche Taycan Turbo S versus the Rally Special. It's a new Hot Wheels fantasy car for 2023. This one inspired by the Italian rally cars of the 70s. The Rally Special dominating on the first run of 1.613 at the finish. Another slow Porsche run, 1.641. The Porsche will try to turn things around. They'll be in lane two for the second run. The Fantasy Car doing pretty well so far. They are even faster on the second run, 1.606. The Rally Special takes care of the Porsche Taycan. They're moving on to the Fast Four in the G-Case race. It's a good one so far. Up next, Excel 8 Round 1. Match 4 features the 88 Honda CRX at 32 grams. They are up against the Solar Reflex with the Earth Day Deco. They'll start in Lane 2. Final match, Round 1. The Solar Reflex blowing by the Honda CRX 1.598 to a 1.652. A really slow time for the Honda CRX. A lot of time they have to make up as we swap lanes. 1.598 will be the time to beat. It's going to be the Honda in lane two. Solar Reflex clocks in another 1.598. That's back-to-back -back wins. Last car advancing to the Fast 4 Round 2 is the Fantasy Solar Reflex. Glad to have you tuned in and watching the Hot Wheels Head-to-Head -head Racing Channel. Eight cars qualified for the Excel 8 first round. We're down to the Fast 4. 1.598, the fastest time so far today. First up in round two, Rise and Climb going up head to head with the 64 Nova Wagon Gasser. Rise and Climb, if you remember, knocked out the Mustang Funny Car back in round one. They're staged and ready. They'll get lane one. The Gasser will be in lane two. Hey, the Nova Wagon Gasser, they kept it close, but not quite enough in race one. Rise and Climb across the line first. They turn to 1.601. That is now the time to beat as they get ready for a second run. 
the Nova Gas are going to swap inside lane one. Rise and Climb revs it up in lane two. Another pretty good race. Rise and Climb laying down yet another 1.601. They actually turn that time in both lanes. That makes it two wins and the fastest time. Rise and Climb racing off in the final for the G-Case race. In the other Fast 4 matchup, a couple of fantasy cars set to do battle. Rally Special is new for 2023 versus a solar-powered car that debuted back in 2007. Solar Reflex in lane 2. And they're across the line. Solar Reflex looking all charged up. A 1.602 to 1.606. That one was a tight race on the 1.8 scale mile drag strip. These two fantasy cars getting ready to swap lanes for one more run. 1.602 is the time to beat for the Rally Special. And it's the Solar Reflex shuts the door on the Rally Special. 1.603, another consistent run. Solar Reflex headed for a showdown with the Rise and Climb in an all-fantasy final coming up. As you take a look at the brackets, Hot Wheels Fantasy Car is doing really well here in the G-Case race. The Excel 8 down to the Fast 4 in the final, but first, the race is for third place. The 64 Nova Wagon Gasser, they're going to give it a shot, see if they can knock off a Fantasy Car. The Rally Special is going to start in lane 2. The Gasser starts the engines, lane 1. It's two runs, fastest time wins. The Nova Wagon Gasser, look at that, jumping out front. 1.608 the time across the finish. They're going to take the lead on the Rally Special as they swap lanes for one last run. Third place is on the line. Can the Rally beat a 1.608? We're about to find out. And look at that, the Rally Special. They needed a 1.608. They got a 1.609, just short. One one thousandth of a second. The 64 Nova Wagon Gasser takes third place in the GK's race. It is 68 degrees here at the track, and up next, two fantasy cars racing for the final and top spot in the G-Case race. Solar Reflex, they set the fastest run today. It was back in the Excel 8 first round, 1.598. This one should be a really good matchup. Rise and Climb just up the ante. A new fast time today in the G-Case race, 1.588. Solar Reflex, they got one last shot as they move inside lane one. Rise and climb to the outside lane two. Can Solar Reflex pull it out in the final run? Let's find out. Four one thousandths of a second, Solar Reflex, they come up short, 1.592. They had to be at a 1.588. Rise and climb wins the G-Case race. Here are the final results and top speeds in the G-Case race. No car is fast enough to knock anyone off the top speed ladder today, but Rise and Climb, fast enough to rank number 15 in the 2023 Fastest Hot Wheels. My name is Mike. Thanks for watching the Hot Wheels Head-to-Head -head Racing Channel. Another fun tournament here at the track. Until next time.